Let me ask you this. Are you spending hours drawing carefully over your sketching lines with your favorite ink brush and when you hide your sketch layer eventually then the final result looks something like this or even this? Uh, brother, uh, what's that? What's that brother? Then you're thinking, ah, I will go on Instagram and see how professional artists are doing this, like Frank Frazetta or Dave Raposa, and I will figure it out. But after spending hours and hours over there, you get disappointed and then you're thinking, what are you doing with your life? Let me then break down the three top reasons that I think they hold you back from producing better line art and what you can do about them to see quick improvements. Oh, and I'm not going to talk about the obvious stuff like making better lines and drawing with your shoulder. This stuff you should already be practicing. So let's go. Reason number one, the problem is not the line art. Many beginner artists jump straight into sketching details without basing their sketch on solid foundations of proportions and anatomy. This will result in multiple lines over other lines that eventually make it difficult to choose what is the correct line. This eventually will make the line art look worse over crooked proportions. The worst thing is that the artist may think eventually that this is the problem of the line art, but instead the problem lies with the underlying structure that is lacking. To avoid this, make sure to break down your sketching process into steps. Let's take for example this reference here. We can start the breakdown with the underlying structure of the body over the ref. Then, from what we have learned from that, we can start sketching the same structure next to it. We will eventually establish a perspective See these lines, for example, here to show the perspective and over that draw the structure using simple objects like cylinders and boxes. Then, ta-da! Our structure is ready and we can proceed to the final sketch. The process like this becomes more manageable and follows simple steps. We start by creating a valid perspective and then on top we add structure and anatomy. Then drawing the clothes for your character will be much easier. Finally, having solved all these issues one by one, choosing how and when to draw strong and confident lines becomes a piece of cake instead of a big challenge. Piece of cake! Reason number two, line art looks flat. This is a classic rookie mistake. You are rookie. Usually this happens because we think that the line art is just tracing over the final sketch. This of course can result in relatively clean lines, but most of the times these do not express any depth or form. Here are actually the most important things you need to consider when working on your line art. The light source. Lines that look at the line source should be thinner than the ones looking away from the light. For example, see this example here. Another thing is overlapping objects and distance between objects. Objects further away from the viewer need to appear more fake. Interesting. So make sure you apply less pressure on your stylus for these lines. See how I implemented this on the sketch. Finally, ambient occlusion and shadows. Ambient occlusion is areas where the light has a lot of trouble going through them. This kind of small pockets of dark line art can play a big role in communicating the depth in your drawing. For example, see these areas in this drawing. 
And finally, reason number three, not really studying from other artists. As said from the beginning, studying from other artists makes only sense if you know what you're looking for. Let me show you how I studied Frank Frazetta here to get a better understanding for his line art and how I can apply to this to my line art. I start by breaking down his sketches and look how he approaches thin and thick lines based on light and focus areas. Yes, thick lines are not only used for shadows, but also to create focus. Wow. Then I look for uh, what he used to push objects to the background or pull them to the foreground. See, for example, how he uses these big black areas here on this drawing. I'm studying with purpose and not generally copying just what I'm also making sure to write all this down in notes. Furthermore, I am making a couple of studies to try to understand his art style and make sure that I have understood everything that I show. My aim here is to replicate the look and feel and not just copy everything. Finally, I will try to apply what I learned in my own drawings. Don't just do studies. Application is key here. Bonus reason. Practice makes better, but deliberate practice makes experts. If you struggle to create confident nines, make sure you devote some minutes of your day before it gets to actually practice your lines. Some great exercises, as you see here, include drawing parallel lines, for example, equal circles or ellipses around an axis, as best as you can. Doing this for 10 minutes or 15 minutes before each sketch will quickly improve your sketches dramatically. Anyway, these were my three plus one main points for improving your liner. I have also added quite a few resources in the description of this video that will help you with perspective and line art. They, this includes several of my Instagram posts about this topic, as well as other artists' resources and even books. If you found this video useful, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And of course, as always, see you at the next video.